It's a pleasure to meet both of you. Um, so how much time did you guys get to spend with your real-life counterparts, and did they give you any advice of, like, if you're gonna portray me, this is what I want? Yeah, I think, uh, I would say my guy was probably the most like that. He has a very specific sense of humor, and he <laughs> wanted it depicted, uh, very, very specifically. Uh, I, I talked to him on Skype for, I had about five conversations on Skype with him, and then, uh, he came to New York for two days, mm -hmm. uh, and then he came over to Malta while we were shooting for, uh, for three or four days. Uh, it was absolutely a wonderful resource to have, obviously, somebody who went through the actions uh, on that night that we're talking about sure. uh, to be able to ask questions and, and, uh, and talk to. Yeah, I play Boone, who is uh, the complete opposite of Tonto's <laughs> character. He's very quiet, reflective. Uh, you know, there's a great scene in the movie where he's dancing around with flashlights to LMFAO and and Boone's reading, you know, Joseph Campbell is yeah. just like the perfect example of their yin and yang relationship. But uh, they, you know, I didn't, I didn't meet my guy. Uh, he's very reclusive and uh, and wanted to keep his anonymity. But I met a lot of men that knew him and know him very well, mm -hmm. and uh, and they were incredibly gracious and very open to, you know, ask any questions you want. I mean, about themselves and. You know, I had a little bit more freedom than some of the other guys because mm -hmm. I didn't have a blueprint of, uh, you know, I had a personality, I had uh, an energy about this guy that I wanted to tap into. But, uh, you know, it's to me it's also more of a composite of these men that, that do this for a living. And mm -hmm. we got to spend a lot of time with some, some ex-Navy SEALs and contractors and a lot of Special Forces guys. And, you know, they're just, they're men of a different ilk. Yeah. And, it, and it, for an actor, it's incredibly valuable to be able to have that resource to understand the psychology of these guys. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's uh, more inspiring or intimidating, or maybe a little bit of both, uh, to portray somebody knowing that they're going to watch the film? Uh, I mean, it's intense. I'm, I, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really curious. You know, I got the greatest compliment, you know, from the guys last night. They said I watched the movie and you were my best friend. I mean, <laughs> like, I'm, and I've never met the guy, so mm -hmm. that's nice to know that that translated. But uh, I, I'm very nervous to see, you know, hopefully he'll watch the movie and hopefully I'll get a chance to hear his reaction. Sure. Yeah, you know, that's, to me, that's the end of the day, that's who you want to sign off on it. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. telling someone's life, you want yeah. them to go, okay, you know, you did me justice. For you, uh, do you think it's more intimidating to have a grisly beard or a fine combed mustache? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I'm not much of a mustache man myself, as you can tell, so I, I would say reaching for the big porn stash was definitely a, a larger reach for me. Uh, bringing things home to the nice uh, trimmed goatee felt, felt more at home, so okay. uh, I would say I was, I was more at home in Tonto's skin than in porn stashes. What would you say is the most difficult scene to film in, the, in this? There were so many. I mean, yeah. it was such an active and physical set. You know, we were carrying around about uh, 50 to 60 pounds of gear mm -hmm. at all times and, you know, running all over the place. The, the fire scene where uh, the, the <sighs> annex or the compound is on fire, I think it was a very uncomfortable scene to shoot for mm -hmm. a lot of people. Well, you look at the poster. That's not a, that's not CGI. That's mm -hmm. not, you know, Photoshop. That's literally, you know, pyrotechnics, pyrotechnics blowing up <laughs> Six behind inches him. Away from and, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, and I, you know, and I I'm actually standing just to the left of him or the right of him, and uh, but you know it was an intense. The whole thing was intense. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, and Michael has a very, a very uh, you know, a lot of energy, and you can see it in the movie. You see it in, a, in the frame, and uh, and he shoots quicker than anybody else that uh, I've ever worked with, and probably anybody that's working out there right now. Mm -hmm. um, and so just trying to keep up with him was the challenge, I think, more than just a specific, you know. We stuff. were often asked to shoot things out of context or, you know, things we were, thought we were going to shoot a week later, he mm. would pull up. Oh, uh, yeah. For instance, the, the last scene where the convoy's rolling up and mm -hmm. we don't know if they're friends or foe, but, um, and, and they do the jambo, and, and it's, a, it's a very difficult emotional moment. So it was one of the things I had highlighted in my script as, you know, that I, we got to make time for this, and this has to be a big moment for me <laughs> yeah. as an actor. And then one day on set, you know, he's like, okay, let's Let's go to the roof. Let's shoot that last moment. He starts setting up the crane shot, and I had about five minutes to wow. prepare for it. So I think that's that's kind of the thing is you just have to be ready at all times to do anything he wants you to do. Awesome. And you mentioned Michael Bay real fast. Yeah. You mentioned this. It would be the easy answer to say this movie, but what is your favorite Michael Bay movie? Other than this Other movie, than this. which is definitely my favorite Michael <laughs> Bay movie, uh, I would say The Rock. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, I, you know, I've got a little soft spot for Armageddon because I was Ooh, a kid when fun that one. thing came out. It was just fun. There you go. You know, Pleasure meeting both of you guys. Nice to meet you as well. Thanks so much. Nice to meet you. Thanks for your time. Have a great day. You too.